Republicans in Congress are still working on their plan to repeal and replace the Affordable Care Act. In a speech Tuesday, President Trump spelled out some details, including a new series of tax credits to help Americans buy insurance. Nancy Cordes is on Capitol Hill, where the president's ideas are causing a feud inside the GOP. They need to decide on how big that tax cut is. Nancy, good morning. Good morning. Republican leaders have begun trying to sell this plan to their GOP members, which is a challenging task because they're still missing some key figures and details. They're hashing all of this out behind closed doors as they try to tamp down a rebellion from their own right flank. Senators who were briefed on the new health care plan last night were instructed not to say much about what's in it. The details will matter, but um, it's a, in many ways a promising start. Here's what we do know. A draft of the plan that leaked last week replaces Obamacare's low-income tax credits and subsidies with more modest tax credits that go to everyone. An analysis from the Kaiser Family Foundation determined that a 40-year-old making $20,000 a year would see his or her tax credit drop from an average of $4,100 under Obamacare to $3,000 under the GOP plan. Lower-income people and people who are older would get less help. Uh, whereas younger people and wealthier people would be better off. Like Obamacare, the Republican plan would make those tax credits refundable, meaning low-income Americans get the money even if they pay little or no taxes. But some on the right say that's a handout and they're threatening to vote no. I think that the, the notion of refundable is going to prove to be a bridge too far for a lot of conservatives because it entails fundamentally a new entitlement. In those closed-door meetings, GOP leaders are arguing that any other approach would result in millions of people losing the ability to afford insurance and Republicans getting the blame. It's not going to be perfect, but this is our one chance to keep our promise to our supporters uh, to whom we made the promise that we'd repeal and replace Obamacare. Another big sticking point is what to do about Obamacare's huge expansion of Medicaid, which now covers 11 million more people than it did before. Some Republicans say that is a vital safety net that needs to be retained. Others say it's too expensive and needs to be scaled back. Nora, if they can't find some kind of consensus on this, the entire bill could be in trouble. That's a very important point, Nancy. Thank you so much.